My name is Michael Hart, and I'd like to express my support and admiration for all of those in the struggle in Iran in, in recent weeks. I don't pretend to really understand what's going on inside the movement. In fact, you should probably distrust anyone who pretends to understand. But that doesn't mean that the struggles like yours are isolated. In fact, what happens is the struggles travel. They're translated into circumstances in other, in other contexts. Uh, and they, and then by that doing that, they create a cycle of struggles. In fact, that's my hope for what's, uh, for the future, for the future of your, of your struggle in Iran right now. One of the ways they travel is by their slogans. And I've been, and I've been fascinated by the slogan emanating from Iran in these struggles, Zan Zendegi Azadi, woman, life, freedom. A friend of mine suggested that we should compare that or put that in the context of the great slogan of the European bourgeois revolutions, liberté, égalité, fraternité. Not as a negation really, but as a supplement or, as, or even as an interpretation. Remember that, and I'm sure you know that the, that the uh, after the French revolutionaries proclaimed their universal desires, quickly afterwards, the Haitians, the slaves in Haiti, took up that same slogan and made it true. In other words, liberté, égalité. In, in Haiti, they interpreted that the way that the Frenchmen could never imagine and made a truth to the questions about freedom and equality. So that's the way I mean that then sometimes these, these uh, struggles travel, they travel, they're interpreted, they're translated and, and, and they create a cycle in that way. Now that brings me back then to the, to the, to the great slogan or the fascinating slogan Today, woman, life, freedom. I mean, one thing that, that, that comes, becomes immediately apparent, apparent in putting that together with uh, liberté, égalité, fraternité, is that it reveals quite, quite, quite clearly the implicit patriarchal power that is assumed in fraternité. In some ways, it, 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 uh, right, it just reveals that. Um, but it also, I would say, it, in similar way to the uh, Haitian revolutionaries, it gives a new meaning to the freedom that's included in both. In other words, I'm tempted, in fact, to make, to make woman life freedom into a kind of equation. Woman plus life equals freedom. As, a, as, a, as like I said, not a, not a negation of the, of the French slogan, but rather as a supplement or a reinterpretation of it, what freedom really means that they didn't even yet imagine. That's something that I see in the woman life freedom slogan. So I would say then, I wish not only that you succeed in your struggles in Iran, but also that your dreams and desires affect revolutionaries elsewhere that they take what you have done or what you're doing and translate it to make revolution themselves. That's ultimately the way we will win.